Hi, I'm Jane Kirkpatrick. Welcome to The City Show. We're going to check out Packapalooza, the biggest pack party of the year. Catch up with downtown's oldest street festival and the awesome addition it will be announcing. But first, we're pleased to welcome Melissa Driver Beard, Executive Director of International Focus, North Carolina, to learn of the luscious worldly treasures and pleasures that will be in the offing at the 29th Annual International Festival. Great to have you here, Melissa. Thank you, Jane. I appreciate it. First of all, give us an overview of the International Festival. Well, the International Festival is the biggest and best multicultural festival in the Triangle region. We bring together 63 different ethnic groups every year for arts, dance, musicians, food, 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 oh, yes. um, cultural education, and all sorts of wonderful children's activities. What are the dates this year? The dates this year are September 19th, 20th, and 21st at the Raleigh Convention Raleigh Center. Raleigh Convention Center. This is, as we said, the 29th yes. International Festival. Can you take us to uh, when it was launched and why it was launched? Well, it was launched really out of a partnership born through the city of Raleigh and the Sister Cities um, organization. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they ran it as volunteers for a number of years and saw that it was growing and taking on a life of its own and eventually International Focus was formed as the nonprofit to manage that, which we've been doing ever since. Um, we've always held the event in Raleigh, um, either at the Old Civic Center or at the fairgrounds and now at the Raleigh Convention Center. And um, we've always really worked to involve a wide diversity of ethnic groups in the area and give them a platform for expression and for cultural education. We really do have a diverse population now, do we not, Melissa? It's been amazing. Um, one of the first things that I did when I took this position was to meet with the folks at the Census Bureau and was really fairly surprised to learn that we're the 15th most diverse state in the nation. And I can remember as a girl that that certainly wasn't the case. No, it wasn't. And over 50% of Wake County's foreign-born citizens have moved here just since 2000. So we've really seen the diversity in our population grow and grow. September 19th, 20th, 21st. What sort of fun uh, and educational activities and shopping <laughs> <laughs> do you have uh, lined up for us? Well, there's always the shopping, which I think you and I both enjoy. Oh, um, yes. We have international groups that set up our bazaars and sort of an old world market feel. But we have some really special highlights this year that I'm particularly pleased about. We'll be bringing in a band um, out of D.C., but they're all from Togo, Africa. They're called Ilike, and they'll be performing on our main stage on Friday night. We're working in collaboration with uh, El Pueblo to bring in La Sonora Dinamita on Saturday night. And then Chuck Davis and the African American Dance Ensemble will join us on Sunday afternoon. Um, we're going to have a bigger and better cooking demonstration area than ever. We've got all the chefs at Neomond who'll be joining us and Kim Hunter who's new and uh, an up and coming chef who's mm -hmm. just recently opened Kimbop. So we're very excited about that but uh, we'll also have in addition to the cooking demo about 25 different sidewalk cafes so that you can try French crepes, African, African samosas, um, Asian dumplings, uh, one of my favorites the Brazilian cheese bread oh. and all sorts of uh, fattening and, and, and fabulous <laughs> <laughs> of course <laughs> yes. yeah and I always love to see the reaction of the children uh, at the festival and y'all always have wonderful activities for yes. the children and we're really upping the ante on that this year we've moved the children's corner which has historically been called Sophia's corner we're moving it to the center of the convention floor and calling it Sophia's courtyard we're building it a court a courtyard around it um, got a wonderful sponsor through Erie Insurance that's helping us do a passport scavenger hunt with the kids. 
so that they can learn a little bit from each of the different cultural exhibits and become a citizen of the world if they complete the, spa the passport scavenger hunt. Um, we're gonna have face painting and balloon making and storytelling and singing and drum circles and uh, we'll have international books available for kids to read. So lots of different activities for them. The first activity in the Raleigh Convention Center when it opened in uh, 2008 was the naturalization yes. ceremony that was part of, uh, because uh, the International Festival actually helped celebrate the grand opening exactly. of the Raleigh Convention Center in 2008. And I thought that was just so wonderful. But this year, every year, you every have year. a significant number that become American citizens. Yes, it's a really special and unique event. Um, it's the only naturalization ceremony that I'm aware of in North Carolina that's held outside of a courthouse. Judge Britt has been wonderful to work with us every year. We naturalize um, about two to 300 citizens in that ceremony. And for them, it's especially moving. It's really heartwarming to see how excited they are, see what a community they form. Um, you know, all of their friends and family come with them. Um, this year we'll be joined by the 82nd Airborne Choir who'll be singing. Oh. Um, and the, Javier from the Mexican Consulate will be speaking to address the group. Um, so we're really excited about that and a lot of our own festival committee chairs and board members even delayed their naturalization ceremonies so that they could take so part, they could in, take that part in that one. I can understand that. And when is that held, Melissa? That will be held from 2 to 4 o'clock on Friday the 19th. Uh, yeah, you always start off the festival yes, with Yes, it's with always the ceremony. grand kickoff because mm -hmm. that's really what the festival is all about, yeah. is celebrating that diversity. Absolutely. Where can our viewers go? to get more complete information and information on tickets? Um, they can go to our website, which is www.internationalfocusnc.org. Tickets are already on sale. We have day passes and weekend passes and all the information about how participants can get involved, can attend, can volunteer, and um, just be a part of the festival. Melissa driver Beard, thank you. Thank you. For uh, telling us all about it and for helping bring this to us every year. It's one of the things that, that makes Raleigh really special. Well, I'm really delighted to be a part of it, and we look forward to seeing you there. Up next, we learn all about Packapalooza, the pack's biggest party of the year.